what do we got so far? We have this idea that computers run on electricity. And electricity can either be on or off. And depending upon whether or not a certain light bulb or switch, right, like a light switch, uh, depending upon whether or not a certain light bulb or switch or circuit is on or off, we could store two pieces of message with that one light bulb switch slash circuit, right? So if it's on, it can mean come up, let's go trick or treat at that house, the porch light is on, and if it's off, go away, don't trick or treat at that house. So let's build on this idea and see where it leads us. Let's build on it and see where it leads us. Computers are on electricity, electricity has two states, on and off, and with one light, how many messages can be stored and conveyed? We can store two with one light, with one switch, one circuit. What about with two lights? If we had two lights, two lights, how many messages could be stored and conveyed? With two lights, two lights. <laughs> I'll let you contemplate that. Pause the video at this point, maybe even, and uh, try to figure out how many messages could be stored and conveyed with two light bulbs. How many messages could be stored and conveyed with two light bulbs? So pause the video. And uh, when you've figured out how many messages could be stored and conveyed with two light bulbs or two switches or two circuits, uh, then, uh, you know, after you figure that out, restart the video. Okay, so I'm guessing you restarted the video. So let's just look at these two lights right now and ignore these over here. If we had two lights, we could store four messages because there's four possible combinations of on or off when you have two lights or two switches or two circuits. There are four possible combinations of on or off. They could both be off, they could both be on, this one could be on and this one could be off, and then this one could be on and that one could be off. So four possible combinations. Those are the four possible combinations. And so we could create a coding scheme for depending upon what combination these lights were in, in on-off states, we could create a coding scheme to mean different things, right? So I just created my own coding scheme here. I called it Todd's coding scheme. Very arbitrary. You could create your own coding scheme too. You could like, you know, uh, coordinate with a friend who lives across the street and you could say, hey, if I have two lights on in my window, it means this. If I have one, it means that. If there's none, it means something else. And if you know, whatever. You can create your own coding scheme. This was my coding scheme. If both of the lights are off, go away. If the first one is off, but the next one is on, come on in. If the reverse is true, so let me actually use these, right? So if that's off and this is on, come on in. If the reverse is true, right, bring pizza. And if they're both on, bring beer. So that's my arbitrary coding scheme. So remember, computers do four things, IPOS, input, process, output, storage. And we've really knocked out, <laughs> yeah, Motley Crue. We've knocked out input, we've knocked out uh, storage, and we've knocked out output with electricity, with just light bulbs, with simple switches or circuits. We've been able to kind of get three of the things that computers do. We'll get to processing in a bit. All right, so computers, uh, with with two circuits, switches, light bulbs, we could we could store four messages. What about with three lights? If we were to use three lights, how many different messages could be stored and conveyed? Three lights, how many different messages? So pause the video at this point, see if you can figure it out, and when you're done, restart the video. Okay, I'm guessing uh, you may have figured it out, or maybe not, because it starts to get a little bit exponentially more confusing with three light bulbs because now they could all be off, they could all be on. This one could be on and these two could be off. This one could be on and these two could be off. This one could be on and those two could be off. Both of these could be on, both of these could be on, both of these can be on, and the rest could be off. So when you figure all of that out, you have eight possible combinations. And there's actually a little tricky formula that you could use to figure out how many combinations there are. And that formula is, 2 to the power of n, where n is the number of light bulbs or circuits or switches that you're dealing with. So 2 to the power of 1, right? If we just have one light bulb, we could store two messages. 2 to the power of 2, if we have two light bulbs, 
We could store what is 2 to the power of 2, it's 4. Uh, we could store 4 messages. 2 to the power of 3, so if we have 3 lights, we could store 2 to the power of 3 is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 2, 4, 8. We could store 8 messages there, that's 8. We could store 8 messages. If we had 2 to the power of 4, we could store 16. 2 to the power of 5, 32. 2 to the power of 6, 64. 2 to the power of 7, 128. 2 to the power of 8, 256. And so already maybe you're starting to recognize some of these numbers as computer numbers, right? Because uh, like, you know, uh, 248, 16, 32, like 32 gigabytes of RAM or 16 gigabytes of RAM or 8 gigabytes of RAM. Like these are numbers in which we hear uh, computer measurements. 64, 128, 256, right? 128 gigabyte hard drive, you know, or now they're in terabytes actually, but... Uh, 128, 256, 512, right? So these are computer computer numbers, like numbers we normally see computers in. So if I had uh, three light bulbs, I could store eight messages, and that coding scheme might look like this. Off, 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 run away, right? All the different possible combinations of on or off could mean these different things. Just an arbitrary coding scheme that I've created to uh, signify to my friend, neighbor across the street, that if the three lights in my window are in different combinations, it means these things. And so again, this is uh, the next step in understanding how computers work. Computers run on electricity. Electricity can be on or off, depending upon whether or not a light bulb or switch or circuit, use any of those words, is in the state of on or off, we could store messages. With one light bulb, if it's on or off, store two messages and two, four, uh, and three light bulbs, we could store eight, and so forth, and so on. And we could create coding schemes to uh, have those on-off states mean something. So we're gonna build on this idea of computers running on electricity, and you know things could be in on or off states, circuits or switches, or you know even light bulbs, for an example, could be in on or off states. We're gonna build on this, uh, this example that there's these coding schemes in the next video. We're going to learn more about coding schemes and how we can start to uh, use on and off states of circuits um, to represent different types of, of coding schemes, represent different types of data and information, and allow us to store that data and information. So forwards, forwards and onwards to the next video.